for your local news from Southern New England's early show. Five minutes before 9 o'clock on this Thursday morning. We'll check your top stories and future cast in a moment. We'll say that morning commutes wrapping up, Mike Sheridan. Any problems? No, not really, Mark. A uh, good way to wind down all the lanes back to normal. Eastbound 195, most importantly, Gano Street on-ramp has been reopened. Let's look live into Providence, check the traffic here on the 610 connector. Still slow, nothing in the way, but a heavy ride from Dean Street up onto Route 95. Live with 12 News Traffic, I'm Mike Sheridan. Here's Jim Corbin with today's Future Test. Well, thank you very much, Mike. Temperatures in the 40s and low 50s right now with the filtered sun. The high clouds are dimming the sun just a little bit right now, but... Overall, it's, again, no problems to deal with in the weather. 62 this afternoon on average, maybe a degree or two milder well inland and a degree or two cooler along the coast. More of the same tomorrow. How much longer can this stuff go on? A little bit cooler but bright on Saturday, more sunshine on Sunday. Early indications are for Thanksgiving. It's a week away. It looks like mostly sunny weather, and then it may get stormy after that. All right. Thank you very much, Jim. Looking at our top stories, a prominence man is dead after a late-night shooting. The attack took place after 9 last night inside the Brothers Market on Elmwood Avenue. Grieving family members at the scene confirmed the victim is 37-year-old Frank Mercado, who has owned the store for at least two years. Prominence police say the attack looks like an armed robbery gone wrong. The police will not comment any further on whether they've identified any suspects, and their investigation continues. The EDC has accepted a master plan for the Quanta Davisville Port and Commerce Park in South Kingstown. Board voted to accept the 8-2 to two to accept the plan. Residents and lawmakers are concerned it leaves the opportunity open for a deep water container port at the former naval base. The vote also comes as a national conservation group named Narragansett Bay among America's most endangered landscapes. The ACLU's lawsuit against the Providence Police Department will be heard in Superior Court later today. The ACLU has accused the department of underreporting traffic stops. The department is required to keep statistics of each stop for a study on racial profiling in the state, but the ACLU representatives say Providence Police are not doing their job and they want a neutral party to oversee the department. No one from the department or city would comment. And the, the West Greenwich Town Council unanimously last night voted to bring an original copy of the Declaration of Independence back to Rhode Island. The document printed for the town back in 1776. A historical group had hoped to sell the 225-year-old document at an auction, but under a plan set up by Secretary of State Edward Inman, the document will come back to Rhode Island and will be displayed in the New Heritage Harbor Museum. Inman says it will be the only first-generation copy of the Declaration of Independence in New England. So can I understand if they, they're having trouble keeping that big one, original one at the Smithsonian and they're using gases. How did that one stay? Maybe it's a different paper. Maybe it's not the real one. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> How do you know? I, I, anyway, sunshine next few days, temperatures in the 50s and 60s. That's our report now. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. How could it I mean, is it